starting today's round domestically as the Union Party appealed for President Abdel Fattah Sisi to nominate for a new presidential term. The party said that the move was essential to continue the comprehensive development path, support social cohesion, and achieve the June 30th objectives through making progress in all the state sectors. Humat al Watan Party also voiced its support to President Sisi to run in the upcoming presidential elections in backing for democratic principles in continuation of development projects and in enhancement of Egypt's prestigious status at the regional and the international levels. Meanwhile, the Egyptian Industries Union called on the president to nominate in the upcoming presidential race, saying that its desire comes as part of its keenness to continue the state's efforts towards more industrial accomplishments, human resources development, as well as support for micro projects and investors. The General Federation of NGOs also held a conference rallying support for President Sisi in, in presidential elections. On the sidelines of the UN General Assembly in New York, Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri held a number of meetings with his counterparts. During his meeting with his Malian counterpart, Abdullah Diop, Shukri affirmed Egypt's stance, which calls for a quick and peaceful resolution to the crisis in Niger. Meanwhile, Shukri held meetings with the South Africa Foreign Minister Nalidi Pandor that discussed the bilateral relations during the recent years. They also reviewed means of promoting cooperation within the framework of the BRICS group. Egypt's top diplomat also held talks with Belarusian Foreign Minister Sergei Alenek. The talks touched on ways to develop economic relations between the two countries, expressing Cairo's welcome to the ongoing discussions to localize some industries in Egypt in cooperation with Belarus. The ministers also exchanged visions regarding recent developments of the Ukrainian crisis. Shukri also held a meeting with the Polish counterpart uh, where the two ministers discussed development in the Russian-Ukrainian crisis and its repercussions. Meanwhile, Egypt's top diplomat met Israeli Foreign Minister Eli Kowain. The meeting discussed bilateral relations and the development in the occupied Palestinian territories. Under the auspices of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, the Interior Ministry launched the 24th phase of We Are All One initiative. The initiative aims at providing various food and non-food commodities to citizens at low prices. The initiative has hundreds of branches, including key super and hypermarkets nationwide, as well as Interior Ministry's outlets, Amen. The Interior Ministry has announced the increase of the super and hypermarkets participating in the initiative. The commodities are sold at a discount of 25 to 60% of its market prices.